Before we even get started with today's video, I just wanted to mention one thing real fast. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash furyforged, so if you did not know that, now you do. I've been getting people stopping by like, oh, I didn't even know you streamed, and... Sure, I don't really mention it much in my videos. Here you go, I wanted to put this right in the beginning. So if you want to see me playing Noita, I play it live on Twitch all the time. And I hope to see you all there. Anyway, let's go. Back in February of this year, I made a video about Noita's new puzzle structures and unique wands. A couple weeks afterwards, Nala Games added one final puzzle in the vault, which I never did cover in a video until today. Like similar puzzles in the other main biomes, this circular structure has a rare chance to spawn in the vault, and filling it with particular liquids will reward the player with one of two prizes. But how do you tell which liquid to fill it with? Well, by reading the symbols within, of which there are several. From left to right, the angry face represents Berserkium, the heart, Healthium, Lively Concoction, or the much easier to acquire Pheromone. The dotted line body, Invisiblium, the sheep, Poly, or Chaotic Poly, the shield, Ambrosia, the winged boot, Acceleradium, Levitatium, or Hastium, the blinking circle, Teleportadium or Unstable Teleportadium, and the ropey-looking worm, Worm Pheromone. Although it shows two symbols in its back wall, this is not an alchemy puzzle. You don't have to mix anything. You just have to decipher a symbol and then fill the inner receptacle with one of these liquids to spawn one of two unique wands. 70% of the time, you'll end up with this one here, the Arpelu, Lottery Bone or Wishbone, a necromantic skull-themed wand that comes with an always cast remove explosion. Other than having usually pretty decent stats, this wand has a unique appearance which I find to be really cool, but there doesn't seem to be anything else special about it, unlike the other wand acquired at a 30% chance. Here's the first time I got one, live on stream. The red skull has a... it does. Yes. Oh, we got the... the other one, the broom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the broom, it cleans stains. It's a pretty nice wand, too. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that. So yes, the broom wand, or Varpaluta, has a very unique effect amongst all other wands, items, or spells. It cleans surfaces, or more accurately, removes the VFX layer from any texture in the game, allowing you to reveal its true appearance beneath. Does this have any actual use, or is it simply for memes? We do know that the devs have a really good sense of humor, but this is Noita, a game filled with all manner of crazy secrets. So I have brought this around the world and tried it on various surfaces, looking for perhaps writing, symbols, glyphs, or something else hiding just beneath the surface. And yes, I've taken it to the eyes, on which it had no effect, which is what I expected since it seems to only affect foregrounds and not backgrounds. I've also taken it to the cauldron room, on which it has the most startling effect, removing the detail on the structure as if it were paint and exposing the rock underneath. It also removes the darkening effect on the sand of the room, revealing it to be just ordinary sand. Probably. If you discover any secrets with this wand, please let us know in the comments down below. My thinking is, yeah, they could have just added this for lols, but this is a very unique effect. But before I go, another interesting effect I noticed this wand's capable of is allowing you to breathe underwater because of the manner in which it disturbs individual pixels of liquids, allowing you to potentially fight the lake boss without using Breathless and without Fungal Shifts. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you make any discoveries of your own, like always, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy Noitin.